are getting a warm welcome to our stay here at Beecher State Park. This Robin has been flying around our car since we parked. I wonder if someone, if he's used to people bringing him like food and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's down here, I can hear I him. I can hear him chirping. Come on, little guy, come back up. There he is. Oh my god. Oh no. There he is. He keeps flying up and landing on our mirrors. He's so cute. Hopefully he doesn't attack us when we come out. I know. Bucher State Park. We were just greeted by a gorgeous cardinal who flew down to say hello. It was pretty cool. Uh, if you see us looking around, it's because he's still kind of landing on the car. Yeah. And moving around really and watching cool. us. Uh, we checked in this morning. Uh, when in the office, the folks there were very, very nice. Uh, they informed us of a little bit of a closure for one of the uh, uh, trails. We remembered to ask. We remembered to ask, time. which is good. Um, we, yeah, they had a tree fall on a bridge, and so yeah, that trail that trail sh <laughs> shut down, which happens. Um, and we are actually expecting some friends to show up. Yes, they're going to be here in about a half hour, and we have some little tiny trails that we want to hike before they get here. So we're going to just get out there and get started. Just like many of the other parks we've been to, this is a CCC park. Um, it was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. There's supposed to be a trail that kind of shows off some of their handiwork. Pretty sure this is it, but there's not a sign, so we're gonna go find out. Also, listen to the birds for just a minute. I think this is gonna be a great park. We just walked the CCC crossover trail. It literally takes you from one parking lot in the park down to another section. It's really short, it's only 0.1 miles, but it's really, really beautiful. So definitely check it out if you get the chance. This trail is super tiny, very short. The main reason is to see this giant tree. It is the former champion cedar elm, and it is huge. And there's a lovely bench that you can come and sit at and admire its beauty. Go for it, babe. Don't. I'm gonna Let's focus on getting goes. people in frame. Go. Okay. Hi, we're here. We have friends with us. 
We have Andrea and Noel who were with us at Paladro and Alex and Haley who came with us to Enchanted Rock. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go do stuff. And Freckles is here. You can't see her because she's there she, very uh, there short. There she is. But she is <laughs> ready to go. So we're gonna go hike this trail, which is called <laughs> the Woodland Winding Trail, and it's gonna be great. So here we go. In 2015, there was another fire that came through really close by to the Bashrop Complex fire. This one was called, I think, Hidden Pines Fire, and it burned through part of Beecher State Park. Um, you can still see like some of the charred trees and stuff, but again, they also have a lot of pines coming back.
Nice mom. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> park recap. We're done with the park. Mm-hmm. For me personally, like it's a really nice park. It's a beautiful park. It's it's you know anytime you get the the big pine trees and stuff mm-hmm. like that. However, this park has also been affected a little bit by some fires, so yeah. there are some places that are a little more. The Pine Gulch Trail used to be pretty huge, big, huge, tall pines. Yeah. A lot of that burned um, in the 2015. I think it, I think it was called Hidden Pines Fire. But either way, it was still a great trail. It's it beautiful. A, and it was it's the longest one. Yeah, and like it gets to one part where it's like a lot of ups and downs and switchbacks and stuff, and that was really cool. I think that might have been on the. Oh, I'm really bad at trail names. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it would be the Roosevelt's cutoff part, but it turns more like switchbacky when it turns back into the mm. Pine Gulch Trail. Either way, really cool trail. Very much enjoyed it. I would say probably my favorite part of this park is a very tiny piece of this park, and it's the CCC Trail. There's just like this one section that has a lot of stonework, like the little wall and the stairs that they built. And it just so reminded me, it was probably also the weather this morning was very gray and misty and cold. And it just reminded me of being back in Ireland and Scotland and going through all these castle ruins and that kind of thing. It was just really cool. I really like that one. Uh, yep. And we did actually go with a decent sized group of friends to yeah. other, other couples. One thing we will say is these trails are very much one, one. person. They're narrow lanes. Single file. So you couldn't really walk next to each other and talk in a lot of them. But we still had a great time. Yeah, we did. So we still managed to yell back and forth to one yes. another. We were probably a very loud, obnoxious group that everyone else hated. But we and, had a really nice time. <laughs> and one person in our group. Yeah. Happy birthday, Andrea. Happy we birthday. We hope you had a really great time. It was super fun that you got to come out with us. It was a great time. We really did have a really good day. The weather turned out to be gorgeous. We were all kind of wondering, like, hey, when is it going to warm up? Because it was almost one and we were all still pretty cold. But once the sun came out and the clouds kind of burned off, it turned out to be a really, really pleasant day. So we had a gorgeous day. Great time spent out in the open. With friends. With friends. Trying to be as responsible as possible. And that's um, one more park down. One more down. So tomorrow we hit another one. Welcome to MapCap. We had a great day at Butcher State Park and we started down here. Uh, we This is where the recreational hall is here. And we parked there and took this little tiny trail. It doesn't show on the map, but it does connect all the way through to this parking lot. Um, and this is actually where the trailhead sign is. There is no sign over here. There's like a little wall and the trail is behind it but that's where we started we hiked this one in and out then we drove over to this parking area hiked this teeny tiny trail and then when our friends got there we drove we, well okay we left one car here and we drove two cars up here to the um top of the winding woodland trail and then we walked this one down it's a gorgeous trail very easy back down to this parking area then we sent the guys back up to get our cars they drove back down we all had lunch together um we weren't sure if some people were going to go home after that or if some were going to stay but we all decided to stay so we all drove back up to this parking area so that we could hike the pine gulch trail which is up here let's see if i can get it down to you guys there we go so we parked here we took the easy route first we went this way um, and then we took all the way out to this road here. This section is closed because a tree fell on a bridge and now the whole trail is closed. So until they get that fixed, that's out. Then we walked back down the road this way and met up with Roosevelt's cutoff. Came back around. It turns back into the Pine Gulch Trail, which I don't recall seeing a sign for. Perhaps there was one. Um, this part is really fun. Lots of different elevations and windies and ups and downs and all kinds of stuff. So we finished that out and got back up to the parking area. Then uh, we decided since we got done so early, we drove everybody back down to the CCC trail down here and walked that one again with them just because it was such a lovely trail and we wanted to make sure that they got to see it too. And that is how our entire day played out at Buescher State Park. Mm -hmm.